Have you ever received a call from your bank asking for personal information? Picture this, you're going about your day when your phone rings. The caller ID flashes your bank's number, so naturally, you pick up. The voice on the other end sounds professional, even helpful, and they're asking for some personal details. They say it's a routine check or perhaps there's a problem they need to solve. But here's the catch. This isn't your bank. This is a cyber criminal using call spoofing applications to make it seem like they're calling from your bank. These deceivers have one goal in mind, to trick you into revealing sensitive information. They exploit your trust in your bank, your desire to help sort out any issues, and your fear of financial woes. This is the reality of call spoofing, a cunning ruse, a digital wolf in sheep's clothing. So what exactly is call spoofing and how does it work? In simple terms, Call spoofing is the practice of causing the telephone network to display a number on the recipient's caller ID that is not that of the actual originating station. This tactic is a favorite among cyber criminals who use it to impersonate bank agents. Imagine receiving a call from what appears to be your bank's number, only to find out it's a scammer on the other end, tricking you into sharing sensitive data. These con artists go a step further by exploiting call spoofing apps to initiate calls to financial institutions. They use a phone number registered to the account owner, making it seem as if the account owner themselves is calling. This deceitful strategy grants them unauthorized access to sensitive financial information, leaving the account owner oblivious and at risk. So, now that you know what call spoofing is, how can you protect yourself? One of the best ways to protect yourself is to verify the identity of the caller. If someone asks for personal information, don't hesitate to hang up and call the official bank number listed on their website to confirm the call's legitimacy. Another crucial tip is to never share personal information over the phone. Your social security numbers, account details, or even your date of birth are all keys to your identity. Sharing them can lead to identity theft, so unless you're absolutely certain of the caller's authenticity, keep your details to yourself. Staying informed about common scams and cyber threats is also vital. The more you know, the less likely you are to fall victim to these tactics. So take the time to educate yourself about the latest scams and how they operate. Now let's talk about two-factor authentication, often abbreviated as 2FA. This is an extra layer of security for your accounts, especially financial ones, and can be a real game changer. It makes it much harder for cyber criminals to gain access, even if they somehow manage to get your password. If you encounter a suspected phishing attempt or fraudulent call, don't just ignore it. Report it to your bank and relevant authorities. They can take steps to protect other customers and potentially catch the criminals. Lastly, keep your phone's operating system and apps up to date. Updates often contain security patches, which are like vaccinations against known vulnerabilities. Remember, your personal information is valuable and it's your responsibility to protect it. In this digital age, cyber criminals are always looking for new ways to exploit individuals and organizations. We've explored the deceptive world of call spoofing, unmasking the tactics used by these digital marauders. Remember, your best defense is staying informed, always verifying caller identities and never sharing personal information over the phone. Use two-factor authentication, report suspicious activity, and keep your systems updated. These steps can offer a robust shield against such scams. Stay safe, stay informed, and always be critical of unexpected calls asking for your personal information.